Guess what, guys? The UK government is finally coming to the realization that their EV mandate may not be very realistic. They had very ambitious plans without much of a plan at the same time. But it's kind of starting to fall apart in front of their face. And as we spoke about earlier, these uh, changes in the U.S. government are going to have effects all over the world. And it's starting. Let's talk about this. Roll the intro. Welcome back to Beyond the Lens Productions, guys. So, yeah, let's talk about the UK. The UK is uh, just one in a series of governments that is starting to realize that their EV plan ain't working. They had a very ambitious plan. They had planned to have 22% of vehicles mandated to be EVs sold in the UK every month. They had plans to have 10% of their vans, commercial vans, uh, to be EV. And since they made that plan, they have hit that target, a grand total of one month. That's right, one month. If that doesn't tell you your plan isn't working, I don't know what does. Automakers have been telling them for quite some time that they're uh, plan for this transition is totally unrealistic. But as a typical government, they're totally out of touch with how business works and they just have this plan in mind. That's what they want you to do. You're going to do this. You're going to buy these EVs. And guess what? They're not. They planned to have 28 percent of all cars sold by in 2025 and beyond to be EV. And they wanted to raise that to what? 2030, 80%. How do you go from 22 to 28? And then a matter of five years, you just jump ahead and you're suddenly doing 80%. The infrastructure isn't there. The demand isn't there. I don't know what they're thinking. Well, I don't think they are thinking really, but that's just my opinion on that one. But by 2030, they basically wanted to make it so that the only internal combustion engine sold in the country would be a hybrid. Now, I think a hybrid is actually an excellent alternative to somebody that wants the fuel economy, but still wants a real engine in their vehicle. So either way, in the midst of all this, they scaled back their EV mandates in 2022. That didn't help the situation. I don't know how they could have figured that was going to help the situation. But anyhow, um, I got a quick look at, we'll quickly share the article with you guys. Okay. So here's the article on Car Scoops, and I'll just kind of read you guys some of the highlights since uh, if you're watching this on a smaller screen, you're not going to be able to read this. So, uh, so they said down here, so failure to meet targets will land these companies huge fines of 15,000 pounds, which is about $19,000 US for every car sold beyond the allowed ratio. So some have opted to artificially restrict the availability of combustion vehicles and spend money subsidizing electric cars by offering discounts. And these things are only going to get tougher according to current plan. Okay. Now, the transport secretary has heard people loud and clear and the need for support to make this transition successful. We'll be consulting with you on changes to this mandate, inviting the views and opinions for a better way forward, added. Uh, he added, he claimed the new British government was determined to stick with the 2030 combustion plan. Da, 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 da. Yeah. This is just another example 
of a government that doesn't want to listen to the people. They think they know better. They think that they're smarter. Whatever. I don't know. But they also don't want to admit they're wrong. Yeah. The governments are notorious for not wanting to admit mistakes, not wanting to admit they're wrong. It's just another example of that. So, I don't know what plan they're going to come up with. Uh, they're definitely going to have to scale this one back and come up with some alternatives because car makers, they're losing money. They're losing money on every one of these EVs that they're selling. And yet the governments want to keep making them produce these things, even though they're not turning a profit. Uh, let's go back to the article a bit. Okay. Stellantis this week has announced it's shutting down a 119-year-old Vauxhall factory plant at Lutton North in north of London. Having previously warned that EV mandates and post-Brexit tariffs on UK-EU trade could lead to plant closures. And last week, Ford said it was axing 4,000 jobs in Europe. 800 in the UK. So how much is this EV mandate really going to mean to this government? How much is it going to mean to them not to admit when they've made a mistake? Because their people are losing jobs. Oh, granted, you know, more of them outside of UK, but still, that's still a pretty significant number of jobs for these people. And when Stellantis is telling you it ain't working, that should tell you something because they are one of the ones that have been the most determined to claim that this whole thing is going to work. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out and uh, what happens with this. Tell me what you think. Leave me a comment below. Give the video a good thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying my content. Let me know in the comments if you're enjoying my content, what you like, what you dislike. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, I hope you all have a great day. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love. And the fake is if you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll never show up. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love. But the fake is if you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll never show up.